You don't have to have the strength of the Incredible Hulk or be as aerobically fit as a marathon runner to succeed in the world of shotgun shooting. That is one of the great things about our sport. But if you want to play at the highest level, some strength and general aerobic fitness sure can't hurt. Today I want to go through half a dozen exercises that competitors of any age can use to improve the shotgun shooting performance. Nothing too strenuous and all exercises you can do in the comfort of your home. I would always advise that you get some medical advice before you take on any strenuous exercise as it is always better to be safe than sorry. I've collaborated with a couple of friends to formulate this program. Steve Pearson, a very fit 57 year old shooter from New Zealand and Crystal Henry, a qualified personal trainer and owner of Prime Movement Therapy. Crystal is also my trainer here at F45 and helped put a program together for us to use. Happy to help you out, Lauren. Every exercise program should have a component of aerobic fitness and some endurance. If you have access to an exercise bike or rowing machine, these are perfect ways to maintain a level of aerobic health. Jogging, brisk walking, or riding a road or mountain bike are also great as long as you exercise with an elevated heart rate. To help improve your stamina throughout a round, it helps to exercise for a similar duration. In essence, a total workout of around 30 to 45 minutes is a great goal to strive for. We are trying to tone your body, not build muscle bulk. Lighter weights with increased repetitions are our aim. Champion shotgun shooters with huge muscle bulk are few and far between. Building too much muscle will make your movements robotic in nature and that is the last thing we need to help us to move the shotgun smoothly to your target. It's advisable to work out to your ability level so I will show you the beginner exercises first and then show you the advanced movement. The full program including the recommended reps and sets can be downloaded for your use. It will appear on this module's opening page. Let's go through half a dozen simple exercises. First of all, we will work out our lower body. Working the legs will allow you to have a stronger base. It'll make it easier to stand with ease, particularly in windy conditions. First is a sit to stand. You can use a chair, an outdoor bench, or a gym bench. Your feet should be shoulder width apart. Align your feet, knees, and hips. Exhale as you stand up and inhale as you sit down. The advanced movement is a squat. You can do this with or without weights. Place your feet shoulder width apart, keeping your shoulders back and down. Inhale, hinge at the hips to initiate the squat movement, knees tracking over toes. Stay within your range of motion. Exhale, drive through midfoot as you return to the standing position. Now let's move on to our arms. Sit up tall with your feet shoulder width apart. Place weights at shoulder height, palms facing away from you and your arms bent. Brace your abdominals. Exhale slowly while pressing one arm upwards until your bicep is next to your ear. Inhale as you return to the start position and then repeat on the other side. Hold a dumbbell in each hand with palms facing towards you and arms bent like you were doing a bicep curl. Exhale as you press the arms out to each side laterally as you press your arms up, twisting your hands so your palms face away from you. Inhale as you return to the starting position, then repeat. Try to be smooth and keep it as one movement. Sit up tall on the floor with your legs together in front of you. Slightly bend your knees if it's more comfortable. Place an elastic band around your feet and hold the ends with your palms facing inwards. Brace your abdominals. Pull the band back so that your hands are over your thighs with your elbows tucked in. Slowly extend your arms back to the starting position. Place your feet shoulder width apart in a staggered lunge. Support yourself with a chair or bench. Keep your shoulders back and down. Lean forward with a straight back. Exhale as you slide your shoulder blade toward your spine and lift the dumbbell up toward your torso and drive your elbow to the ceiling. Keep your elbow tucked in. Concentrate on pulling from your back muscles. Tie an elastic band around a pole or something else secure. Place your arm at 90 degrees. Squeeze a towel between the upper arm and ribs if that helps you keep your elbow in. Rotate your arm out, controlling the move in and out. Finish your reps, then swap sides. If you want to challenge yourself, use light dumbbells with both arms at 90 degrees. Exhale and perform an external shoulder rotation. Then inhale and slowly bring your arms back to the starting position. For our last arm exercise, lie on your stomach with arms and legs outstretched. Keep your head neutral with your eyes down. Start with your arms in a W shape. Exhale as you lift up and out. Inhale as you slowly and with control lower back down to the starting position. 
For the advanced movement, again, lie on your stomach with arms and legs outstretched. Keep your head neutral with your eyes down. Start with your arms in a W shape. Exhale as you lift up both your legs and arms, then reach out. Inhale as you slowly and with control lower back down to the starting position. To challenge yourself, hold at the top for two seconds. And now to the core. Start in a four-point kneel with shoulders over your wrists and hips over your knees. Place the knees hip width apart. Brace your abdominals. Exhale as you lift the opposite arm and leg out. Keep your hips square to the ground and maintain a straight back. Hold, then inhale as you return to the starting position. Aim to minimize sway or movement in your hips during the weight shift. For the advanced movement, there are several variations you can try. Start with a plank hold, either on your elbows or hands. To be challenged further, you can integrate movement into your plank, and then of course, there is a push-up. To ensure you are doing these correctly, reference the tips in our program. This next exercise is great for shooters and their mobility from right to left. It's called the Russian twist. For a beginner, start in the standing position. Hold a medicine ball or weight that suits your ability level. Rotate from the core right and then left with control. To make the movement more challenging, sit on the ground with feet either on or off the floor. Again, rotate from side to side using your full range of motion. Ideally, touch the weight down on each side before rotating back to the other side. To ensure you don't get injured, it is always a good idea to cool down after your workout. I'll quickly show you a few stretches. To make things easier, I'll include these in the document you can download. Lie down and grab your foot. Apply some pressure from your foot into your hand, feeling your hip pulling into the ground. Hold, then swap legs. Next, roll onto your back and place your arms out in a T-shape. Bend one leg and rotate across your body. If you aren't quite feeling enough stretch, you can apply some pressure. Hold, then swap sides. Now sit up into an L shape. Try to keep your back straight as you lean forward as much as is comfortable. You want to feel a pull, but not be in severe pain. Next, kneeling, place one foot at 90 degrees. With this one, you want to push your butt in and feel the pull in your hip flexors. Remember to hold and then swap sides. These next three exercises I also like to do before shooting around as it helps my shoulder mobility. First, find a wall or pole, then rotate until you feel a stretch. Next, stand straight and cross your arm across your body. Using the other arm, apply pressure till you feel a nice stretch. Hold and then swap arms. Lastly, place your arm behind your head, reaching your hand down your back. Using your other arm, apply pressure to get a nice stretch. Again, swap sides. Strength and endurance only works if you hydrate correctly and eat appropriately. You can never drink enough water and remember to keep your concentration up through the day by eating food that will give you sustained energy and not those high in sugar that will give you a short term kick and then a massive low. Foods like bananas, apples, hard boiled eggs, hummus, brown rice, tuna and salmon will give you the long term benefits to help keep you on track and to help you keep shooting straight. We hope these few exercises help get you on your way. Remember to pace yourself and keep a training diary to monitor your progress. Good luck.